हेलो गाइस दिस इज रेवन फ्रॉम डिजी इंटीग्रिटी वेलकम टू टेक न्यूज एपिसोड 94 सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म ट्विटर हैज टू कंप्लाई विद द न्यू इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी रूल्स फॉर डिजिटल मीडिया इफ दे हैव नॉट बीन स्टे द दिल्ली हाई कोर्ट सेड ऑन मंडे जस्टिस रेखा पाले इशू नोटिस टू सेंटर एंड सोशल ट्विटर सीकिंग फॉर द स्टैंड ऑन ए प्ली बाय द लॉयर अमित आचार्य क्लेमिंग नॉन कंप्लायंस ऑफ द रूल्स बाय इट व्हाइल ट्विटर क्लेमड बिफोर द कोर्ट दैट इट हैज कंपाइल्ड विद द रूल्स एंड अपॉइंटेड अ रेजिडेंट ग्रीवेंस ऑफिसर द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट डिस्प्यूट द क्लेम Amazon Prime is one of the most wholesomely bundled subscription service that a an user can avail in India. For rupees 9.99 per year or rupees 3.29 for 3 months, user get access to Prime deals free and faster delivery through the Amazon India e-commerce platform and access to entertainment services such as Prime Video and Music. Now the Amazon India Youth offer is giving a chance for users to lap up a Prime subscription at half of its regular price. Nevertheless, with the offer interested users between the age of 18 and 24 can get Amazon Prime at rupees 1 164 for 3 months or rupees 499 for 1 year Popular audio device maker Harman is celebrating its 75th anniversary. The company is expanding its celebration by offering free Amazon Prime membership to its customers. Those who purchase any Harman product via Amazon India are assured to get free membership and coupons. Purchases can include both JBL and Infinity products which come under Harman's product offering in India. The offer period is valid between May 15th and July 31st, 2021. Intel unveiled a new 5G module today that lets laptop makers easily built in a link to the ubiquitous and zippy mobile network in the months ahead. The Intel 5G solution 5000 is an M.2 module that PC makers can slot into a motherboard of a laptop to give users access to 5G networks that are being deployed across the world. While this is not the first time that Intel has tried bundling into a mobile chipset, the last time was another 5G module back in 2018. 5G standard has since been firmed up and networks are common today. Realme has officially unveiled the X7 Max 5G after several weeks of teaser and a delayed launch. The phone is identical to the recently launched GT Neo which is exclusive to the Chinese market. You get a Dimensity 1200 chipset first in India, AMOLED screen and a triple camera setup with 64 megapixel primary camera. In addition, Realme also announced a pair of new 4K smart TVs. The new smart TV 4K to India it comes in 43 and 50 inch sizes. In both cases of HDR10 with a Dolby Vision support the panels also support 83 percentage of ntsc color gamut and realme's chroma boost picture engine Back in 2016, Meizu launched the Meizu Mix Hybrid, which featured an analog dial with some smart features. Today, the company announced the Meizu Watch at its full-fledged smartwatch with eSIM functionality. In addition, the smartwatch delivers a 36 hours of battery life and a full charge, and it features a Snapdragon 4100 wear, which is Qualcomm chip for smartwatches. Realme's new Dezo sub-brand was described as having a focus on AI IoT products, but apparently that includes a featured phones to a true wireless earbuds and a smartwatch. The FCC documents have photos of two featured phones. The Dezo Star 500 is fairly large screen for what it is a traditional keypad below. It is a dual SIM phone with 2G connectivity, a single camera with flash, a micro SD slot and a 1830 mAh battery. The Dezo Star 300 is a more basic device that prioritizes battery life. The power cell has 2000 Find an MAH which is a lot for the feature phone. It also have two SIM slot, a dual band 2G, a micro SD slot, a camera with LED flash, then what appears to be one chunky loudspeaker. Xiaomi recently unveiled the Redmi A Dots 3 Pro in China. The new truly wireless earbuds from Xiaomi comes with a feature like active noise cancellation, 7.2 mm drivers, etc. It could launch in India and other international markets. The new Xiaomi earbuds are now listed on Bluetooth SAG certification website ahead of the launch. The listing suggests that new earbuds could launch in international market as Redmi Buds 3 Pro or the Poco Pop Buds. Poco had last year confirmed the launch of new earbuds. However, the launch was delayed due to the ongoing pandemic Redmi Note 10 Pro 5G could be rebranded as a Poco X3 GT in India. Poco X3 GT is apparently listed on Xiaomi's official support page. Redmi Note 10 Pro 5G originally launched in China last week. The expected specifications are it comes with a 6.6 inch full HD plus LCD display with 120 Hz refresh rate. It could come with a MediaTek Dimensity 1100 processor. It has a triple rear camera setup of 64 megapixel primary sensor, 8 megapixel of ultra wide angle camera and a 2 megapixel of macro lens. It comes with a 5000 mAh battery with a 67 watt fast charging support. 
Earlier this month, OnePlus rolled out Oxygen OS 11.2.5.5 update for the OnePlus 9 and OnePlus 9 Pro with May 2021 security patches, improvements, and fixes. At the end of the month, the brand is now sending yet another system update for this handset with the build number of Oxygen OS 11.2.6.6. Since the launch, the brand has been seeing fixing issues with the camera system. The latest Oxygen OS 11.2.6.6 update for these phones is also about improvements and optimization for the camera system. as well as the network the government of india is apparently planning on investing a heavy sum of 20 billion us dollars to help developing the lcd panel industry the investment will be used to promote the establishment of production and lcd panel related supply chains in the country according to the reports the local news agencies have revealed that the local government is reportedly aiming to develop lcd panel production in india the ministry of electronics and information technology will lay out investment incentive plans in 6 months that will facilitate the building of local panel production supply chains based on the mous it received from potential local and overseas investors Samsung have been working foldable display technology in recent years as highlighted by its patent in this area the recent patent listing at the World Intellectual Property Organization shows that the company was working on a design titled method and devising for providing user interface in electronic device having folding display the patent was published on May 21 2021 and gives an insight into the possible usage scenarios of such a multi foldable device Lenovo is presently releasing products on all fronts. Little wonder why the company recorded a milestone in its earning for the 2021 financial year. Away from smartphones and PCs, the company has now announced the Xeoxin Panda printer. The Xeoxin Panda printer features a remote printing AI scanning and a wrong question search functions among other new features. It carries a retail price starting from 849 yuan that is $133. PUBG Mobile and Free Fire may get banned in Bangladesh another setback for esports according to Bangladeshi publication the access to most popular games are reportedly getting restricted in Bangladesh previously PUBG Mobile was temporarily banned in the country while the ban was later revoked further obligation regarding these two games are being discussed now in the parliamentary standing committee of the Ministry of Post and Telecommunication moreover Bangladesh Mobile Phone User Association called for action against both battle royale titles due to their addict nature and their adverse effects on the youth generation The Indian Institute of Technology Madras on Monday announced a new collaboration with IBM on quantum computing education and research. The collaboration will provide IIT Madras faculty researchers and students with access to IBM quantum systems and tools over IBM Cloud to accelerate joint research in quantum computing. It will also develop curriculum to help prepare students for careers that will be influenced by their next era of computing across science and business. Actor cum environmentalist Juhi Chawla Monday approached the Delhi High Court against the setting up of 5G wireless networks in the country raising issues related to the radiation impact on citizens animals flora and fauna Justice C Harishankar before whom the matter came up for hearing transferred the suit to another bench for hearing on June 2nd Juhi Chawla said if the telecommunication industry plan for 5G come to fruition no person no animal no bird no insect and no plant on earth will be able to avoid exposure 24 For us, say day 365 days a year to level of RF radiation that are 10 times to 100 times greater than the what exists today. Motorola already announced a Moto G stylus phone earlier this year but that won't be the only model planned for 2021. There will be a second device that will launch as a Moto G stylus 5G and now a press render of the device has surfaced on the web. The render was posted on Twitter and it shows the phone from all angles as seen in the photo. Moto G stylus 5G will have a hole in the left corner of its display. The side bezels are pretty slim but the chin is thicker. Reliant Geo has perhaps become the biggest gaming company to strike a deal with global gaming giant. The company has partnered with Japanese gaming giant Sega to bring the company's games to its set-top boxes and other devices. The games will be available on the Geo Game Store which is preloaded on Geo set-top boxes and the Geo phone. The partnership begin with two games right now and it is unclear whether more games will be added in future. Geo's partnership is a good news for the Indian mobile gaming industry which has been seeing more and more partnership like this over the past year. As mentioned above the partnership include two games right now Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and the Street of Rage 3 the games will be available to Geo Fiber users first and will be the first Sega games to be available in Hindi and Tamil
The Hawaii Watch 3 series is set to launch along with the company's proprietary Harmony OS. But just prior to its official announcement, images of the wearable have been leaked showcasing the device running with the new OS. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.